Hello, everyone, and welcome to Discovery Day. Um, and before we get started, I want to say thank you to our sponsors, the Chickasaw Nation, for sponsoring free family fun and for making programs like these possible. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, so here at the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, um, and this is our building, this is our museum um, located in Midtown um, near downtown Oklahoma City. We believe in telling Oklahoma's story through its people. So we highlight the inspiring story of Oklahomans um, to inspire future generations. Um, and so today we are telling the story of Oklahoma Fall Hall of Fame member, Zach Miller. Um, Zach Miller was born in Missouri in 1878, around the same time his father established the 101 Ranch near present-day Ponca City. The ranch was home to a well-run farm known for its diversified crops, including wheat, cotton, various fruit orchards, and even vegetables. They had it all when it came to it, um, being a farm. Um, and on his farm, Miller established a dairy farm complete with its own processing plant um, at the 101 Ranch. So he was able to make his own milk um, and he was able to sell his own milk. Um, and so we're inspired today by Zach Miller's adventurous spirit. Um, and we're going to be really inspired by um, his dairy farm with our second craft. Um, but today, before that, we are reading I Love the Mountains for Storytime by Haley Myers. Um, and so let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen real quick. Um, and let me go ahead and switch over my camera. Awesome. Um, and so let's go ahead and jump right into story time. Like I said, today it is I Love the Mountains by Haley Myers. I Love the Mountains. See, there's a bear in the mountains. I love the rolling hills. There's everybody playing on the hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Look, they're even roasting marshmallows and hot dogs. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di a. I love the ocean. I love the open sea. There's the there's sea creatures out there. There's a whale, a seal. I love the forest. I love the bumblebees. That's very brave to let a bee on your nose. I love the stars above when night turns into day. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di a. I love the sunshine. I love the butterflies. So there they are. They're chasing the butterflies with their own nets. I love the wind blow. I love the river flow. I love the city lights when the moon is high. So if you look real closely, you can see them and they're up above the city looking at all the lights. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di a. I love the daisies. I love the sugar peas. I love the meadows. I love the summer breeze. Sounds a lot like Oklahoma. I love to walk on by, my head up in the sky. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di a. The end. So that was a really fun and adventurous story. Um, and so today, um, to reward ourselves for that adventurous story time, we are going to be making our very own ice cream cone. Um, like I said, Zach Miller had a dairy farm, and we're going to be making our very own ice cream cone. 
Um, and so what we're going to need today, let me go ahead and get switched back over to show y'all real quick. So today we are going to need a paper plate, um, some crayons to color and to draw with, um, some scissors, your glue, um, and then also um, you can use an additional sheet of paper. Um, and I'm going to use a brown piece of paper for my ice cream cone because I like just regular waffle cones, but you can use whatever color you want. Um, and then the rest of what we're going to need is stuff to decorate our ice cream cone. Um, and so for me, I have some pom poms. Um, and so I'm going to use that here in a second. Um, and then I also have some some gemstones and I'm going to use those for sprinkles, I think, at the end. So the first thing we're going to do once we get all of our supplies together, um, we're going to trace out the outline of our ice cream cone. Um, but just the ice cream scoop, not the cone part. That's going to go on the paper. So for me, I'm going to use the plate. Um, and so just like a scoop of ice cream, I want a well-rounded scoop and I want as much as possible. And so I'm going to make sure I get a big scoop of ice cream. Um, but I like my ice cream to kind of be a little melty. Um, and so I'm going to have it melting kind of over the cone. And so kind of, you know, just a little drippy. Um, just so it kind of looks like a real ice cream cone, I think. And there we go. So that's what my ice cream scoop is going to look like. Um, and so once I, I'm going to cut that out now. Um, and so that's going to be my, what I decorate as my scoop of ice cream. And I'm just going to do, be careful to draw around or to, to cut around the, where I traced. Um, but I'm going to flip it over so I won't see the lines when I'm coloring and when I'm decorating. Um, so that is okay if you don't quite cut off where you, where you trace. Um, so as we get that cut off, we can start to think what we're going to be, what kind of ice cream we're going to be making. Um, there's all sorts of different options. I'm the type of person that I like all types of ice cream. I don't really have a favorite. Um, I think they're all really good. So I'm going to have a really hard time deciding. Maybe I, I might do chocolate. Chocolate sounds like a good option always. Um, but there's also vanilla I like, there's strawberry, um, and then I can also use my gems and my pom-poms to decorate. So I could even throw in some, you know, maybe some sprinkles, uh, maybe if I want some candy, like some gummy bears or something, I can use the, the sprinkles to look like gummy bears, um, but I have lots of options. Uh, so as I get closer, you see I'm almost done. Just kind of cutting out the drippy part of my ice cream cone. Uh, say, I'm gonna cut here so it makes it a little easier to get into that little part right there. And then so there's even cotton candy ice cream. I know I talked about some of the stuff you can put in your ice cream, but there's all sorts of flavors. And I imagine that if you have thought about it, that you can go ahead and do it. Um, and I love, can't wait to see what all sorts of fun flavors all of our friends come up with. I think for me today, I'm going to go, hmm, I don't know. I might go chocolate with some strawberries in it maybe um, or maybe like banana ice cream I don't know we're gonna wait and see I'm gonna think about it some more um, so there's my ice cream that's gonna be the part that my scoop um, so I'm gonna use that now to trace out what's gonna be my ice cream cone um, and so I'm gonna use that to just draw a couple lines right here um, and that'll get the, the width of my ice cream cone about right, um, about how wide I want it so it'll fit nicely. Um, and so from these two lines, I'm just going to draw down to a point, and that's going to be my ice cream cone. Um, is this going to where I'm going to trace? Um, and so I'm going to go ahead, um, and before I cut it out, I'm going to draw some lines across like that and kind of decorate my cone. Like I mentioned earlier, I like regular waffle cones um, and they're kind of 
kind of brown colored like this, but just like a waffle, they kind of have crisscrosses. Um, and so I'm drawing the waffle parts of my waffle cone. And so that'll just give it that little extra pop off the paper, give it a little extra flavor, a little extra character. Um, and like I said, I can't wait to see what all of our friends come up with for their own ice cream cones. Maybe you have a chocolate flavored ice cream cone. Maybe you have a strawberry ice cream cone. I don't know. There's all sorts of options. And I can't wait to see what all you guys come up with. Um, but now that I have the kind of the ridges of my waffle cone drawn out, I'm going to go ahead and cut out along the, the black line. Um, and that'll be my ice cream cone body. Um, and here I'm not going to flip it over because I want to be able to see the design um, on the same side that I designed my ice cream cone. Um, and see, I'm not going to cut that part off because I'm just going to tuck that underneath my ice cream. Um, so I'm going to use that part um, and I'm going to put glue on that part. Um, and so. I'm going to put lots of glue so my paper plate and my ice cream can stick nicely. Um, and that should do good right there. And now I'm going to take my paper plate um, with the, the traced lines on, facing down. I'm going to stick it to the top of my ice cream cone. Um, and so I have my ice cream cone there. Um, and so now my next step is I need to decorate my ice cream cone. Um, and so I don't know about y'all, but I like cherries on my ice cream. Um, and so I have three red pom-poms here. And so I'm going to put three red cherries on my ice cream. Um, and I put lots of glue to make sure they stick. I'm going to press them down real hard to make sure they stick again. Um, so I have my cherries on. Um, and I've thought long and hard about what I, I want what flavor I want. And so I think I'm going to go with a strawberry. Um, and so I'm going to color in my strawberry ice cream here. Um, but you can't just have a strawberry ice cream cone, I feel like. I feel like you need to have some sprinkles on that. So once I'm done coloring, I'm also then going to add some of these sparkles, um, some of these, these jewels, and they're going to be my sprinkles for my, my strawberry ice cream cone. Um, so let me get all my, my strawberry flavoring on my ice cream. Make sure you can recognize that it is strawberry because it's pink. Um, but maybe you have a, a different color strawberry. Maybe you've done, you know, special things to your strawberry and it's actually a red strawberry or it's a blue strawberry. Um, but for me, I'm just sticking with a regular, regular old pink strawberry flavor today. Um, there are some places that if you order strawberry ice cream, you even get real strawberries in the ice cream. Um, but I'm not going to do any of those because I cannot draw strawberries. I'm going to use my jewels instead and make a sprinkles. Um, so I'm going to put glue just specifically where I want sprinkles. Um, and so I'm going to grab four or five or six or so. I want a few sprinkles. I want a well-sprinkled ice cream cone. So I grabbed a good handful. Um, and I'm just going to put glue down where I want them to stick. Um, and I'm just going to put them kind of randomly as I go. Oh, need a little more glue for this one. Oh, let's see. Oh, we're getting there. OK, there's one. Awesome. So we're making progress. Like I said, I'm not really, I don't really have a design where I'm putting these. I just want my, my cone to have sprinkles all over it. And how cool is it that my sprinkles sparkle? I think that that's like the coolest thing ever. Awesome. So there's that. Oop. That one didn't want to go onto my ice cream cone. It was the one to stay with me. So I just put a couple more. So I have four more. But I can find four spots on my ice cream cone for them. Say three, and then now I got two more. So I need a couple more, right? I'll do one there and one there. I think those are good spots. 
So let's do that one. And my last sprinkle. Awesome. So that is my ice cream cone. Let me go ahead and switch it over. I know you can't quite see that it's pink right now, um, but maybe you'll be able to tell it's pink better up here. Yeah, you can definitely tell. So this is my ice cream cone. Um, it's got its sprinkles on it with its cherries. Um, and so I hope y'all had as much fun today as I did making our very own ice cream cones. Um, and I hope that y'all had a great discovery day with me. Um, I can't wait to see what we have in store next week. Um, and I can't wait to see everybody next week. And so everybody have a great rest of your day. Um, and I, like I said, I can't wait to see what we have in store for everybody. Bye.